Job chapter 35 Moreover, Elihu answered and said, Do you think this is right? Do you say, My righteousness is more than God's? For you say, What advantage will it be to you? What profit shall I have more than if I had sinned? I will answer you, and your companions with you. Look to the heavens and see, and behold the clouds. They are higher than you. If you sin, what do you accomplish against him? Or if your transgressions are multiplied, what do you do to him? If you are righteous, what do you give him? Or what does he receive from your hand? Your wickedness affects a man such as you, and your righteousness a son of man. Because of the multitude of oppressions, they cry out. They cry out for help because of the arm of the mighty. But no one says, Where is God my maker, who gives songs in the night, who teaches us more than the beasts of the earth, and makes us wiser than the birds of heaven? There they cry out, but he does not answer, because of the pride of evil men. Surely God will not listen to empty talk, nor will the Almighty regard it. Although you say you do not see him, yet justice is before him, and you must wait for him. And now, because he has not punished in his anger, nor taken much notice of folly, Therefore Job opens his mouth in vain. He multiplies words without knowledge. Job chapter 36 Elihu also proceeded and said, Bear with me a little, and I will show you, that there are yet words to speak on God's behalf. I will fetch my knowledge from afar. I will ascribe righteousness to my Maker, for truly my words are not false. One who is perfect in knowledge is with you. Behold, God is mighty but despises no one. He is mighty in strength of understanding. He does not preserve the life of the wicked, but gives justice to the oppressed. He does not withdraw his eyes from the righteous, but they are on the throne with kings, for he has seated them forever, and they are exalted. And if they are bound in fetters, held in the courts of affliction, then he tells them their work and their transgressions, that they acted defiantly. He also opens their ear to instruction, and commands that they turn from iniquity. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity, and their years in pleasures. But if they do not obey, they shall perish by the sword, and they shall die without knowledge. But the hypocrites in heart store up wrath. They do not cry for help when he binds them. They die in youth, and their life ends among the perverted persons. He delivers the poor in their affliction, and opens their ears in oppression. Indeed, he would have brought you out of thy distress into a broad place where there is no restraint and what is set on your table would be full of richness but you are filled with the judgment due the wicked judgment and justice take hold of you because there is wrath beware lest he take you away with one blow for a large ransom would not help you avoid it will your riches or all the mighty forces keep you from distress. Do not desire the night, when people are cut off in their place. Take heed, do not turn to iniquity, for you have chosen this rather than affliction. Behold, God is exalted by his power, who teaches like him, who has assigned him his way, or who has said, you have done wrong. Remember, to magnify his work of which men have sung everyone has seen it man looks on it from afar behold god is great and we do not know him nor can the number of his years be discovered for he draws up 
drops of water, which distill as rain from the mist, which the clouds drop down, and pour abundantly on man. Indeed, can anyone understand the spreading of clouds, the thunder from his canopy? Look, he scatters his light upon it, and covers the depths of the sea, for by this he judges the peoples, he gives food in abundance, he covers his hands with lightning, and commands it to strike, his thunder declares it, the cattle also concerning the rising storm.